So now I'm going to do just a little bit of hand work um, on this nice surface that we were able to achieve on the spindle sander um, just to take out any little problems and even things out. So I want this little part here to be the same thickness all the way around. Either that or a, <coughs> a nice smooth transition. In other words, a little curvy tapering. So as I mentioned, the carbon fiber is easy to abrade, um, which is nice today. You can see that it cuts nicely. Looking good. Um, and then last thing here is uh, to put a little bit of um, chamfer all around it just so it doesn't feel sharp That's enough, just break the edge. I think we're ready to assemble this. So here we will make a threaded bushing to accept the pot and adapt it to the bracket that holds the pot off the pick guard. So this has an internal thread of 5 sixteenths 32 pitch and two diameters 5 8 inch stock diameter and then a reduced diameter to fit the stepped hole in the carbon fiber bracket
you need to taper the back of the pot. We don't have a lot of clearance and some extra plastic that we can make go away. So we have this really big knob running on this really small shaft and in order to keep it stable and feeling really good I'm putting a Teflon washer which I which I make so these are the washers and <laughs> here's the little tool that I made on the lathe that punches it punches these washers out and these are very thin Teflon tape and they have a very 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 low coefficient of friction and um, it just works out great so there's one on each surface and so the, the only surface the only way the knob touches anything except for the shaft is these little surfaces of Teflon. So here we have the, the knob working great um, and it's installed permanently in here so these brackets are supporting the pot. This is tightened very very tight and as you can see it moves nice nice and free so the next little chore is to cut a recess old notch in here to accommodate the thickness of the knob so that this cover can otherwise bed down on a carbon fiber pick guard so we need to mark this now for the limits of this cut Okay, two little hard to see marks. Okay, so we have a cutter that's uh, an abrasive slurry that's bonded onto a steel shape and the grains I believe are um, tungsten carbide and we're going to run it in this little laminate trimmer at whatever it is, 25,000 RPM. It's a little faster than it wants to go, but it actually it cuts pretty well, and you'll see. Now it needs just a tiny bit of fitting with a file at the ends and we'll use a, a round file make it look good.
Perfect. All right.